Our study this morning is going to be on temptations. Temptations and remedies against temptations. Temptations and remedies against temptations. And our verse is going to be Second uh, Peter 2.9 which says the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Kiswahili? Kiswahili nasema Bazi buwana ajua kuwaokoa wataua na majaribu na kuwaweka wasio haki katika hali ya adhabu hata siku ya hukumu. Yes, which means so long as we are in this fleshly body of ours, we are going to fall in diverse temptations. We want to see why temptations comes. We want to understand the remedies against temptations and also uh, how temptations hinders men's conversion. Many men are not fully converted because of temptations. All these things we are going to see, to see them in their deeper sense in order for us as Christians to be, uh, to be able to go at this pilgrimage uh, through happiness. Though we can never be happy as long as we are in this body. So here, there are so many verses that talk about temptations uh, like James 1-2 which says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall in diverse temptations. You see here, James is saying, My brethren, Count it all joy when you, when you fall into diverse temptations. Which means temptations are going to be with us as long as we are in this world. But then, even if they are going to be with us, there are remedies of these temptations. Otherwise, uh, we might fall in temptations and then those temptations defeat us and actually, we, we are uh, taken captive by the tempter himself. So, there is also another verse in Acts 20, 19, which says, Serving the Lord with all humility of mind and with many tears and temptations, which befell me by the lie in wait of the Jews. That is Paul. So what does it say? At 2019. Mm. Yeah. You see, Paul, uh, the apostle, being a Christian, is telling us that he was fighting this Christian journey with the tears and temptations. So also, we are not exempted. So in order to understand these things, we must know that the most holy and righteous governor of the world has so restrained Satan and all our enemies and so far given us free will that no man can be forced to sin against his will. That is a very important point that you must know. That God himself, we are created as free will agents. He has created us free. 
to choose what to do or what is good for us. And since he has created, created us free, why has he done that? It is in order that no man can be forced to sin against his will. Which means, any person, whenever you are sinning, you must know that you are sinning voluntary. Otherwise, your will is with you. You are sinning because you will to do so. To do so. That's why you are sinning. And that's why God has he and God has made us a free agent with the free will to choose what to do. So whenever we see, we know we are doing it through our own will. So here, anything we do, it is not seen if it be not positively or privatively voluntary. For anything, why do we say, or why do we say that an action is sinful? If we can do anything involuntary, that means if we can be forced to do something by someone which is not right, that one to us who have done it is not a sin. Because we are for, forced by another power. So sin is where at the end of one time you sin voluntary. You do it. Sin cannot be seen if you don't do it voluntary. And that's why man after he fell, he went against God and whatever he does on that side of darkness, he does it voluntarily. All our enemies in hell or earth cannot make us miserable without ourselves. We must know that. All the enemies either in hell or in whatever station they are, yeah, they cannot make us miserable without ourselves, without us consenting to them. That means even the devil himself, he cannot make you sin. He can only entice you or tempt you and then you you do it yourself wewe ndio utafanya nini wewe ndio utafanya utachagulia na utaifanya kwa sababu yeye anakuwekea vitu yes wewe unasema unachukua hii that is it na unafanya so it is you who is going to do it but not the devil devil is not yani he is not he is not the devil who is going to make you to do it it is you yourself he will only tempt you to do it and then you do it yourself. One thing you must know that the devil is a spirit. So being a spirit, he doesn't have hands that we have. So even if he is, yeah, he is going to incite you in the spirit, it is you who is going to use your mouth. Isn't it? Your brain, your hands, your foot. So it is you who is going to accomplish everything. That's why we are saying all our enemies in hell or earth cannot make us miserable or cannot make us sin without ourselves. That one we must know. So, they are at the same time, they cannot keep a sinner from true conversion and salvation. Even these enemies, they cannot keep a sinner 
from true conversion. So if you want truly to be converted, to go on the side of God, you can go. They cannot keep you. And that's why you see, most of the time, though salvation is by grace, but you must know that we have a power to do what we want. That's why if I want to build my house, I do it through my own power and I can do it. That's why many people can say, I'm going to be to the church and he can go. I'm not going to do this. And truly, he stopped it. We have some time power to do all what we want for ourselves, for our families. Even sinning is the same. No one compel him to one sinful thought or a word. No one can compel him or you or someone to one sinful thought or word or deed or omission, but by tempting and enticing him to be willing. So the only thing Satan can do or an enemy can do, it is to entice you. Then you consent with that temptation. That's how temptation comes in. That the enemy here, the only thing that he can do to you in order to, for you to do as he will, it is to tempt you. That's how temptation comes in. You are going to be tempted. You are going to be tempted. These temptations is a bait which Satan is going to bring or an enemy is going to bring before your eyes. And then, if you are enticed and you consent to that enticement, then you are done. And that is what we call you sin. That is what we call sinning. Because it is against the will of God, but someone has come, whether a man or, as, or the devil himself in the spirit, and he has enticed you, and you have done something against the will of God. Which means you have been tempted. Our father Adam was also tempted. Therefore, none go to hell, but those that choose the way to hell and would not be persuaded out of it. There are people who have chosen the way to hell. Truly they know the way they are, they are going is not the right way. You cannot tell me a thief or somebody or a murderer doesn't, yeah, he has not chosen the way to hell. He has chosen the, that way. So none miss he of heaven, we must know. But those that did set so light by it as to prefer the world and sin before it and refused the holy way that lead to it. You see now, none miss of heaven but those that did set so light by it. Many people in this world, they will miss heaven. Why? Because to them, heaven is meaningless. They have set it so light that nobody cares whether he is going to go to heaven or not. And even those who go to church, they just go as a formality. But they are not serious. They are not serious. Why? Because the world is so good and the goodness of this world has overtaken them that they cannot even think about heaven. So, all these things is good to understand because sometimes if you, don't, you do not understand some of these points we are talking about, it is hard to know how someone is tempted or, to, or what is temptation. So, the first things, in order to understand some of these things, we are going to look at temptations. Uh, what does the tempter do or what does the, the adversary who is going to tempt us, 
What are his method? What are his method? Because before you even uh, defend yourself, you must first know the method of temptation. The method the, 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 the certain uses or any person can use in order, in order to tempt you. So the first endeavor of the tempter is, in general, the first thing he does is to keep the sinner asleep in sin. That's the first thing that Satan does. To keep the sinner asleep in sin. So that he shall be a dead man. That has no use of any of his faculties. What does that mean? To keep asleep. To keep the sinner asleep. You know when somebody is asleep. It means he's as well as, as if he is dead. He cannot realize what is going on around him. All his faculties are asleep. You see now, that means, that's why we say someone is dead and to see. Let us see that verse first. That is Ephesians 2.1, which says, And you has he quickened who are dead in trespasses and sins. When we say you are dead in trespasses and sin, that means you sinned as he, yet to, to you to sin. It was your life. You could not realize that you are sinning. You get the point there? Yani you could not realize that you are sinning. To, to, yani sin to you was dead. You could not see. You could not feel that you are sinning. What does that mean? You know here Paul when he says... Which you, uh, that you has he quickened. Meaning, before, before you are quickened, you are dead unto sin. You could not see sins. You could not realize sins. You could not know that you are a sinner. Because the way of sinning was your life. It was your life. Yeah. That's why we say, that's why we are saying here, the tempter. The first endeavor of the tempter is, in general, to keep the sinner asleep in sin. So that he shall be a dead man that has no use of any of his faculties. He has the faculties in this world. He has them. Everything he has it. Like in those faculties, to him, zime, zime that is it. Another verse is Romans Gapi 7. It is Roman 7 9, where Paul says, For I was alive without the law once. But when the commandment came, sin revived. And I died. You know here, Kiswahili nasema mna gani? Ibu soma kwanza. Kiswahili nasema, Na ame nalikuwa hai hapo kwanza, Bila sheria. Ila ilipo kuja ile amuri, Dhambi ilihuhika, Nami nikafa. That is it. You see now here, If Paul, If you, you, you think about Paul, Take it this way. There was no one time Paul, Was not under the law. He was, in the dispensation of the Jewish church. And that church was under the law of who? Of Moses. But now here Paul is saying, yes, he was doing everything in accordance with the law. He, he, was, 
As far as the Jewish church was concerned, Paul was doing everything according to the law. But why does he say, I was alive without the law once? He means he was a sinner and he was alive, very much alive in sin. Even though he was keeping the laws of the Jew, he was a sinner and alive in that law because he could not realize what sin was. But when, but when the commandment came, sin revived. That means when he was converted, he started and seeing his faculty were quickened. And he started understanding what sin is. He was a churchgoer, but before conversion, he never knew what sins was. That means Satan had kept him asleep in the law. Just likewise, just the same thing is happening in the church today. Many are going to church, many are churchgoers, many are church members, they are keeping the gospel law, they are doing everything, but they don't know they are, any, they are alive in sin. But when they'll be converted, that's the only time they will see the sinfulness of sins. But now they cannot see. So that is the first thing that Satan does to keep someone dead and to sin. That he cannot realize what sins is. That's the first thing that Satan does. That means he has eyes and sees, sees not. And ears but hears not. And heart that understand not, nor feel anything that concern his peace. He doesn't feel anything that concern his peace. When you say peace, we don't mean, you don't mean the peace of this world. We mean the peace of God. He has nothing. He doesn't know even what the peace of God is. So he is not even, he doesn't even want to know because he is dead. Even when you are talking about peace of God, he thinks the peace of God, it is a peace of this world, whereby he is being protected by police and, uh, and the army and whatever. That's the peace he knows about. But that true peace of God, that true peace of mind, he is dead and to that. He doesn't know. And if he doesn't know, he won't care about it. So, the light shines upon a man asleep is of no use to him. Or, that, or the light that shines upon a man's asleep is of no use to him. Why? His work lies undone. Yes. The light that shines upon a man asleep is of no use to him. If somebody sleep, the, eh? Imuangazamu <laughs> That is, it. that is it. That is, we want to see how the Satan tempt. Temptation, people don't even understand how, how they have been put into a sleep by Satan. That they cannot even know themselves. The light is shining, eh? Uh, uh, let us see that first. No, the, the gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 5, it says, And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehend it not. That's the point. Kiswahili? Naya nuru ya nga gizani, gwara giza haliku iweza. The light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehend it not. Because where were you are asleep, Satan has made you a faculty to be asleep. 
Even when the light is shining of the gospel, the true light of the gospel is shining, you cannot see it. You cannot understand. Because already you are, you are as if you are dead. That's how. The light... Uh, sorry. Yes, the light that shineth upon a man asleep is of no use to him. His work lie undone. His friends and wealthy and greatest concernment are all forgotten by him as if there were no such thing or a person in the world. Mutokuwa Merara, Wangana is how his friends, his wealth, everything, Wangana is how. That is that means when we are asleep in this world of sin, we forget our spiritual wealth, our eternal happiness. We forget about all these. We don't even know them. We don't even want to know. Just the same way a person when he's asleep, even if whatever he has, he forgets them the time he's asleep. And that's what Satan has done unto, this, unto the children of Adam. They are asleep. He has made them asleep. And to that true wealth, that true happiness, and that internal kingdom. And they are awakened on that dark side of this world. Their happiness is only on this side. And this side, what they call happiness, is not happiness at all. You may say what you will again is you. Or do what you will against him. And he cannot do nothing. And he can do nothing in his own defense. When somebody is asleep, that's the way he is. You may say what you will against him. Or do what you will against him. And he cannot and he can do nothing in his own defense. That's why. Ukikuta mutu kabisa ambaya melara. Let, let us say this generation and by what we are and, and that light of God, there is nothing you can do to help that person. He's asleep. When he's asleep, that man who is on the side of this world and he doesn't know the other side of the coin, that is the other side of the light of God, there's nothing you can tell him. Nikweli? Nothing. Kwa sababu hata ukimwangeresha yeye anaona kana kwamba wewe hakuna kitu unaelewa. Kwanza anaona kana kwamba wewe ndio mjinga. Kwa sababu akikupima wewe eh? na yeye at least yeye anaona hapa afadhali kukuli kukuli kwa sasa anashindwa hii unaniambia ni nini? Ni nini? Ita ni sifaidi na nini? That is it. So, huyo mtu hata no matter you may say what you will against him. But how is come idea? Why? Because he is dead. He is asleep. Kwa hivyo he is asleep. Tusijukue ni hii ya kurara. Ah ah. Ni kifo. Ni kifo amekufa. He is dead in sin. Ni mtu ambaye amekufa kabisa. That is it. And your Paul amesema you that have been quickened from sin and and to and and to dead. Not unto dead from trespasses and sins. Nyinyi umekuwa quickened. Ni kwa sababu ukiwa mkristo ambaye amezaliwa tena ni kumaanisha you are now quick quickened. You have been your eyes is now open. Umetolewa. Umetolewa kwa ile giza. Bali uko umekufa, umefunguliwa macho. So huyu mtu ambaye amelala ndio unaona no matter how much you want to teach him the truth, you cannot help him. Maraka yeye he is asleep. Na ndio tumeona even a person when he's sleeping hata mwangaza ikiwaka na mna gani haifanya nini hawezi yona na ndio kesa akasema yani the light came unto the world but the darkness could not comprehend it and that's why the men of this world persecuted our lord manake yeye he was the light of the world lakini the world was in darkness wale ambao walikuwa wanasema jua kanisa walikuwa wamejaa katika makanisa hawakuweza kumjua kujua this light they condemned him because they were asleep asleep that's the point i want us to understand so this is the case 
that the devil must labor to keep the world in. You see? This is the case that the devil must labor to keep the world in. Even in so dead a sleep that their reason and their wills, their fear and hope, and all their power shall be of no use to them. As far as the kingdom of God is concerned. You see now, everything, Satan has, you have been given power by God, you have eyes, you have ears, you have all the power that, that is from God, but Satan has made man to be asleep that he cannot use this power towards the glory of God. Amekufunika kabisa. Sasa. Hiyo ndiyo ile sehemu muovu anashikiria anangangana nayo sana ili huyu mtu asifanye nini? Asikuje kukuundua kwamba amefungwa ili mm -hmm. ajiondoe hapo mm -hmm. aruke pande ile. Aru aende pande ile nyingine ya mwangaza. Ya mwangaza amekushika all your faculties all your powers ameishika and you are dead you are asleep that you cannot know the other side nini ni the other side that's the work of the devil so these people they are so captivated that when they hear a preacher or read the scripture or good books or see holy example of the godly yeah when they see the grave and know and where they must shortly lie and know that their soul must stay here but a little while yet they shall they shall hear and see and know all these as men asleep wataona hiyo yote hata preacher akisema namna gani hata ukifundishwa ukweli ndio hii na wambio jia ndio hii na hata ukiwaambia hapa umepotea amona watu hiyo yote wataona naona kabisa wengine wanaenda kaburini na wanaeshwa kaburi wengine wakienda na wanazikwa na wanaenda but hata wakiona hii yote wataona asif ni watu wamela wamelala wataona asif ni watu wamelala this as see and all these as men as live that mind it not as if it concerned not them at all awajali awajali wataona nikana kwamba asifu kwao haitafanya nini haitawafikia wataona wako sawa so never was sober considering and laying it to heart and I'm telling you this is the truth. If you go to a funeral, Nunaenda, you are mourning. So I know that every person is very serious. But after that, Unakuta kila mtu raza kuwa na fission 2030. Yeye ya kwake, Aita mfikia. Aita mfikia. Yeye ya kwake, Ata atai kujua huyu mtu wa meenda wapi. After all the world that that person have heard, Hiyo mali yake yote sasa imemsaidia na nini? Yeye hahesi fikiria aone there is nothing. Yeye amewacha mali yake hapa. He has wasted all his time akitafuta mali hapa duniani na ameenda bila nini? Bila hata mmoja. Saduku peke yake ndio amezikwa naye. Sinaona sasa hapo eh? tumefungwa. Yes. Wakati tumefungwa hata kana kwamba tumeona mwenzetu amefanya nini? Ametuacha. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu the will the fact that this satan yafanya nini ameshika ameshika na zimelala na zimelala mm. atuwezi tukagagaili ya kwamba mbona ule ameenda na sisi je na sisi hali yetu itakuwaje that is it because they are asleep so the first thing the tempters does is to make people asleep asleep, asleep. that's what satan does to make people completely asleep Watu wanachezea shetani. He'll make you asleep. 
na hakuna kitu kingine unataka Una, unataka tu mali ya dunia and on the side of darkness sasa hapo ndio una, unakuta sasa anakupatia comfort of this world hapo sasa ndio atakubariki utapata mali ya dunia you are going to have everything that you want in this world sasa hapo ndio tena unafungwa kwa sababu sasa wewe unafikiria that's the only happiness but on the other side ile umefanya nini umefichwa so what are the remedy The remedy of this is this. One, take heed of sleepy opinions or doctrines and causes which tend to the lethargy of security. Take heed of this sleepy opinion. Angalia sana, usila? Usila. Usila. Because ukilara Which was Satan will always be pulling you on that side because he knows hakuna je ingine anaweza tawara wewe lazima akulalishe lazima kwanza ulale ndio sasa awe ndio anatawara that satan knows sit not still but be up and doing starting dead to shake off drowsiness you see now hasa hapa nikusema namna gani saa hii hata hii kulala kwa kawaida ukisikia unataka kusikia usingizi what does you do wako unafanya nini wako unatembea tembea ndio ufanya nini ndio uchofu ifanya nini ishe now how do you remove the drowsiness ya kulala spiritually is always to make sure you study the truth as it is in Jesus Christ because the all this drowsiness hii giza inakuja ni kwa sababu gani because you don't like the light Mwangaza ile ambaye inaweza kusaidia wewe ndio uzilale na iondoe hii giza unafanya nini unaikataa Na sasa unakuta watu they want to hear an easy gospel gospel of prosperity wanafikiria hiyo ndio itawasaidia but hiyo ndio itafanya wafanya nini walale Do sleep more Manaka huyo amekuja kukuambia naona ukibarikiwa na nini na mali ya dunia na hiyo ajui kabisa it is the tempter method yeye umeshikwa sasa tena na mali ya dunia sasa wewe umelala utalalishwa whether you like it or not utakuwa unalia tu hata ukienda kutoa ushuhuda unatoa juu ya mali ya dunia but not the spiritual riches hiyo hata satan amekuficha so what have you kujua that these false preachers they have all they are also asleep asleep wameshikwa with a with a with a false doctrine ndio na wao wafanye wale wanaenda kufundisha wafanya nini na walale mofu amewashika hmm? kwa sababu amewalalisha <laughs> wakati amewalalisha amewapea ka kitu kadogo ka giza ambacho katatafuta wengine na wao wafanya nini walale walale pamoja walale pamoja that's what they wanatumia biblia lakini bado nikagiza nikagiza hii bibi, hii hi, hi biblia it is not in accordance with the spirit of christ ambaye ni mwangaza wameibadilisha to suit this worldly kingdom and that's why wanaweka prosper, prosper. prosperity sana prosperity that's what we deny and satan knows that somebody who is asleep will always like Nine. the gospel of prosperity atapaa hiyo ndio atafurahia sana so another remedy is come is to come into the light live under an awakening minister and in awakening company that will not sleep with you nor easily let you asleep that is angalia a preacher of righteousness yule ambaye Mungu anamtumia to help you not to sleep agree with them to deal faith free with you and promise them to take it thank free how that's the only way you cannot be you are not going to be asleep kuwa na kujua where the truth of god is taught that you can be your eyes can be all open Sasawa. So here lazima tuangalie 
tujue kabisa kabisa that these are the remedies that we need to have because if you are not going to have these some of these things you are going to be asleep you are going to be asleep okay why do you need the light in order not to sleep if your body was sick or uh, if thou had an aching tooth it would not let you sleep okay. and is not the guilty of sin a thing more grievous so here when you go to the light once your eyes are opened you are going to and sin will be grievous unto you and because you have started seeing the enormity of sin it's going to be painful to you and in that sense you will not be you will not sleep you will try always to think how can you remedy this is as if when you have a tooth an aching tooth you cannot sleep you will always be seeking for what for remedy for medicine to cure it so the same things happen with the truth if you go to a minister who has the light of god and he open up the truth and you you are going to be grieved because of your sins and you are not going to sleep you will always to want to know more and more how you can help yourself or how you can be saved in Christ Jesus but when you go to a false minister he is going to make you sleep more because he doesn't open up the wound in you you feel safe and happy and even when you come from that from that sermon of that fake pastor you won't feel anything he has all, always been teaching you things to make you more comfortable in the state of sin so you will never understand yourself sasa another way that satan do it is if satan cannot keep the soul in a sleepy careless inconsiderate forgetfulness he would make the unregenerate soul believe that there is no such thing as the regenerating grace you see now satan knows that there are those ministers of god who truly teaches the truth as it is in jesus christ the true gospel says that unless we are regenerated unto a new creature we shall never see god but satan will come with another doctrine where he is going to hide the doctrine of regeneration that you just the way you are if you just believe jesus christ is your, your savior then you are you are going to where you are going to heaven just believe and your name is going to be written in the book of life that is another way that satan makes people to sleep in the church he hide the true doctrines he hide the true doctrines and he teach he bring a false one in order to help people to sleep in the church thinking that they are going to heaven and yet they are in his basket so here uh, people don't and Satan does not let people know that holiness is but the very health and rectitude of the soul and is no other supernatural than as health to him that is born a leper so here he must people must know that we are born as leper as a leper is and we need supernatural power to change our nature that is the gospel of salvation 
That's our Lord Jesus Christ, who has this power in our soul to change our nature and a new creature. But Satan would like that thing to be taught in churches. He would like another gospel, a different one of prosperity to be taught in the church. Then, the same Satan, when you start knowing the gospel, he'll say, if, if supernatural grace be necessary, yet it may be born in you. They'll even go further and say, even infants have no sin. They'll say, even Christ said, oh, such is the kingdom of God. Yeah, the Jews believed, Abraham is your father. Yeah, God. You are born of Christ, Christian parent. All these things are the gimmick of Satan to make people asleep. He brings doctrine, wrong doctrine, because many believe that infants have no sin. They don't even know about the original of sin. They don't even want to know. And Satan will make them asleep as far as they don't want to know. Satan also will go further and tell people or he tells the people that godliness is nothing but a matter of mere opinion or belief. So when you go, you meet someone who has gone wrong in doctrine, the only thing that he'll tell you, if he does not agree, that that. Uh, it will depend on how you interpret the scripture. So, people have interpreted the scripture through their own reasoning, through their own understanding, without even wanting to know there is always one spirit, the Father and the Son, who has written the scripture. They are not two ways. So, we cannot have too many ways about the scripture. There is only one way, one truth of the scripture. All the other ways are brought, are, the, are brought by the tempter in order to tempt people to, to be asleep even though they are good readers of the Bible. So, uh, Satan will, uh, will, will allow people to believe all the articles of the faith but of true religion, he will not allow them to know. He will not allow them to know about the true religion. And that's why they will always argue against the true religion. And that's why they will always persecute. We have seen it in history that people have persecuted those who have come to teach the true religion. The church itself we have seen it in the time of Reformation. The Catholic persecuted many Protestants because they stood with the truth and they never wanted to be known or people to see that they were wrong. So instead of accepting the truth, they persecuted them. Why did they persecute them? Because Satan had hidden in them. Satan was in them was hiding in them, had made them asleep. So when someone came to try to bring another light, Satan incited them that they are heretics and many were persecuted. That's the way Satan does when he doesn't want the truth to be known. Satan will also come with another doctrine whereby he'll tell, he'll tell the people that God is not so unmerciful as to damn all that are not holy. This is but talk to keep men away, away and not to be believed. That's how Satan comes. There's people who, whenever they hear the true doctrine of election, they'll start arguing that God cannot damn people. He cannot create people, then he damn them. That is how Satan 
makes people asleep. Even in doctrine, they don't even want to know the truth. They don't even want to believe the truth. Those are the things that keep them far from, from knowing the truth. Another thing that God, sorry, the devil makes people to be asleep is they say Christ died for all. And God will not punish him and you both for the same fault. You see, Christ died for all. And, where, and, and because he dies for all, he will not punish Christ and then punish you again. And he died for us. But the, true, the truth of the matter is, Christ died so far for all that have the gospel as to procure and seal them a free and general pardon of all their sin. Those who truly believe, those who have true faith, those who truly believe salvation is by grace, they have gift of faith, Christ died for those, and those will be saved. But the, but the devil will come with another doctrine, saying Christ, nobody is going to be damned because Christ died for all. Another way that Satan tempts uh, most of the people, he tells them that a godly life is so hard and tedious that if they should begin, they should never endure to hold on. And therefore, it is in vain to try it. There are some in this world, they don't want to commit themselves unto salvation. Satan, and Satan tell them it is a tedious work. And once you are in, you can never hold on. So these people, they keep her far off from even going to their church. Even in the church, they don't want to be given anything or any work. They don't want to commit them in anything. They want to go to the church, but they are very wary that someone will not commit or use them in any way for the purpose of the kingdom. Satan has blinded those that they cannot they don't want to know more because this is not a good work. Sabato na watu wa Sunday. Ehe. Kwa vile shetani kuna vile amewafunga mtu anapata na kuambia ai kutunza sabato ni kazi ngumu sana. That is ngumu sana. Mhm. Na naona sita we? Sita we. Lakini yeye anasema yeye ni Mkristo. Mkristo. Kwa hivyo kuna vile shetani amemweka yeye anaona kana kwamba yeye ako katika njia ya Ukristo lakini akifunuliwa pande nyingine anaona hapana. Anakataa. Na anasema hiyo ni ngumu. Hiyo ni ngumu. Kwa hivyo sasa Ukristo si ugumu. Ni vile shetani amefanya nini? Ameifanya. Ameifanya. That is it. Hata kuna vazi inasema the work of Christ is not grievous. Hakuna pari kazi ya Kristo ni grievous, but Satan make it to be I'm grievous. Eh, hey, ameifanya hivyo. So, uh, the devil will always make people or will endeavor uh, to do what? To find so much employment with worldly cares or hopes, or a business that they shall find no leisure to be serious about the saving their soul. That's what the devil does. Unakuta, people are so busy, businessmen in this world, building skyscrapers, having everything that they want in this world, but they don't know they are employed with these worldly cares so that they may remain asleep asleep. Wow, how do you Wow, and honor they are doing good work. It is good as far as this world is concerned. But no, but they should know that all your lifetime you will be asleep. Because Abugan, what are riches? Ukulizwa in actual sense of this world. How much are you going to use? You must know that as much as the poor man is using the same. it is the same that you are using. Sasa ni nini ngine? 
Hakuna vile wewe kama wewe, yani wewe unakula yule anakula mkate moja wewe utakuwa unakula mikate mbili. Iko? Hakuna kama ni moja ni moja. Kama ni moja ni moja. Hata kwanza unaweza pata hmm? skimi hmm? anaweza kula mbili wewe ukule moja. Wewe ukule moja. Kwa sababu huyu maskini hmm? hakuna familia kubwa. Wewe uko na mali hauna familia kubwa. That is it. Hmm. So Ukiangalia riches sometimes it is meaningless but now utakuja kuona Satan has made you asleep that in all your lifetime this world you have been seeking for what for wealth hauna hauna wakati hmm? wa kuangalia mwangaza hauna wa kutafuta ukweli wakati wako wote unashughulika kutafuta mali kutafuta mali na hii mali umeipata hata ni mig zaidi you don't even need them ukiambiwa simamia hapo eh hiyo mali uko nayo uwezi ukaimaliza uwezi ukaimaliza lakini bado unaendelea kungana bas for what nikumaanisha this person is asleep ndio naona sasa hmm? ameleta hata hiyo kulala hmm? anakuambia wewe enda hata katika kanisa enda hata 30 minutes uko sawa uko sawa uko sawa hmm. technical and, appearance in the church enda enda tena enda enda kazi yako kwake church ndio Uh, you know is a by the way but he has business he's a businessman so hapo na appear just a technical appearance why ndio wakati yeye atatoka katika hii dunia apate watu wa kufanya nini wako muzika hakuna kitu kingine anaangalia this is a snare though frequently prevalent yet so irrational and again so many warnings and witnesses even all men in the world either fast or last at conversion or at death that he who after all this will neglect his god and his salvation because he has worldly things to mind is worthy to be turned over to his choice and have no better help or portion in the hour of his necessity and distress you see now e ukipata kwa watu utaona wengi wako katika hiki kapu they want to be called businessman of this world but they don't know they are they are made asleep that they'll never come out of that kwa sababu kunani atawatoa and yet wamelala mwangaza inaangaza lakini hii mwangaza hawana haja naye sasa another temptation is their own prosperity They think God when he prospered them is not so angry with them as a preacher tell them. You see now that is the rich people in this world those people who has money. They have money, yes, but when the true preacher tell them this is a nothing they won't believe them. Monaka tasema sasa kwa ni Mungu ametupatia wewe naye unatuambia they are not good. You see now it is a very hard thing in health and prosperity to lay to heart either sin or threatening and to have such serious lively thoughts of the life to come as men that are wakened by adversities have. It's very hard. It's a very hard things kuambia mtu about prosperity of this world that truly they mean nothing. Ye mwenyewe anaona they mean nothing. Manake akiamuka asubuhi anakunywa tai kikombe mo? Mayai ngapi? Mbili. And by good luck, Mungu amemsaidia amempatia kagari moja akienda pale anataka. Na anajua hata hiyo nyingine ya tatu anataka haina maana. Manake hii moja imemto? Imemtosha. Nyumba atakaa moja. And he knows that lakini nataka kuwa na nyumba hapa Nairobi au nyingine Mombasa au nyingine siku wapi na zote hata hata situmia na zote hata situmia ni jina tu na this is all this world itamfanya awe corrupt akistafuta badala yake kuwa mtu ambaye asimame katika ukweli wa Kristo ajitafutie nini ufalme wa nini wa mbinguni wa mbinguni so satan has blinded him he has made him asleep na hapo hawezi kujitoa. Hawezi kujitoa. Na kabisa 
watu wanakaa pale hawezi kujitoa another way that certain test or is a tempter is to draw men to take up with mere convictions instead of true conversion you know people you know in sorry in churches satan has made it that when you just when you just come in the church you just say some words behind the pastor then satan has made it that that's now you are a child of god and that person will say will stay in the church for the rest of his life without wanting to understand what a true conversion is satan will hide it from who he'll even hide the pastor himself not to know because even the pastor himself is asleep not to know even what true conversion is and because he doesn't even know himself he'll never even let his congregate know it satan will hide it he'll make both the pastor and the people asleep he'll make them to, to be asleep because he doesn't want them to know the truth so those are the things that truly certain how certain make people asleep and these are great temptations so another great temptation is by hiding from men the intrinsic evil and odiousness of sin certain doesn't want people to know what sin is and in natural sense if you look at this generation people doesn't know what sin is they are dead in sin they don't understand what sin is and that's the work of satan as we said earlier so these are the things that satan does the devil also tempt them to think that though they see yet their good work are compensation for their bad but satan an attempt to watu anawaambia hata kana kwamba wewe unafanya dhambi but you are very good Uh, uh, you do very good work in the church unatoa tithes you pay tithes unatoa offerings pesa za kujika kanisa zitakana wewe unatoa sasa satan nakwambia wewe uko sawa so you see kwa hivyo hata dhambi zako ukiwa unafanya dhambi hata kana kwamba you have uko na corruption kadogo eh lakini pesa zako unafanya nini bora umeleta tithe bora bora umeleta tithe Umelipa sadaka Mungu amefanya nini? Amekusamehea. That is another way that the Satan makes people asleep. Ambaye hawezi kujua kabisa kabisa Satan anawatumia kwa njia mbaya sana. Uh, some are tempted to think that God will not condemn them because they are poor and afflicted in this life and have their suffering here. Wengine because wako na shida mingi sana na kila saa wanalia wanaona kabisa kabisa because of their problem yani Mungu hata wauliza kazi yao ni kulalamika saa yote kulia shida mpaka hata wanaanza kukodemu wale wako nazo you see now because when you are poor unaanza kuona wengine you admire them you envy them mpaka wewe unaona kana kwamba wewe uko sawa sana because something they do you don't do but you are full of envy and envy is a sin si ndio yeah you and that you condemn the rich you always condemn the rich for not showing mercy to the poor you are very fast ya kusema huyu ni mtu mbaya sana huyu hawezi fanya hivi wewe kabisa unafikiria you are better off kwa sababu wewe una point wengine kwa sababu wewe hauna unaona kana kwamba wewe uko sawa sana na ukienda kwa kanisa because wewe you are poor unaona wewe ni afadhali sana kuliko wewe but when you come to condemnation you condemn others hauelewi hata wewe mwenyewe eh uko katika hiyo njia uko uko kama wale wale tu ni vile hau na hii condemnation yote ambayo una shoot kwa wao ni kwa sababu hauna wivu wivu kwa sababu hmm? unaona wale wako nazo kwa nini hawafanyi nini hawapeani hawapeani kwa hivyo hata wewe nia yako uwe na 
ni uwe nayo lakini sasa hao hauna kwa hivyo njia ingine hata kama una condemn wale hata wewe mwenyewe unafaa kujicondemn kwa sababu hata wewe kuna wivu ndani yako uko na wivu ndani yako so satani satani sasa yeye amekufanya uchukie wale kwa sababu wako nazo na wewe unaona uko sawa hivi kwa sababu hao hauna hauna sasa wewe unalalia hapo unafikiri uko sawa uko sawa sasa wewe lazima ujue he he that sorry also the devil blind sinners by keeping them ignorant of the nature and power of holiness of heart and life they know it not by any experience you see now he blind sinners by keeping them ignorant of the nature and power of holiness of heart and life kwa hivyo satan si kidogo about holiness of god that one and i hide hiyo anaificha kabisa mpaka watu wajui what is it to be holy wao wanajua tu bora tu yaani wewe utoe things outward things za mwili ujitolea katika mwili sasa that is the holiness that god is after but when you come to covetousness pride and whatever and envy that to them is not sin they are not sins those are the things which are driving them in this world and they are they are their life and yet they are the fruit of darkness but kwa sababu satan amewa blight that wao wanafanya vizuri sana katika kanisa kwa sababu ya kutoa watakana those fruits lakini wanasema tunaenda mbinguni and yet satan has blinded them and they don't even understand themselves sasa nikimalisia eh, another great temptation is making men believe that their sins are but such common infirmities as the best have so they compare themselves with other people they cannot deny but they have their faults but are not all men sinners hata wengine wanafanya hivyo so the worst wanaji compare with their pastors with their leaders not knowing that even these people are also in the in darkness. Sasa wewe unakuta wewe you compare yourself with others. Ukiona wewe ni afadhali kuliko wengine unaona uko sawa? Uko sawa. So that is enough because even others are doing doing it kama wewe vile unafanya. Ukisema ni corruption unaanza kukompea wengine. Unajua hata sio nzuri uanga na anafanya hivi. So Satan anajaribu kukurai yani ku, kukulinganisha na wengine ujilinganisha na wengine ambaye hata wao ni watu wanaonekana ni watu mashuhuri sana katika serikali katika kanisa sasa ukiona wanafanya tu mambo mengine wewe mwenyewe unajicomfort na unasema unajipea morali ah kama so ndio so alifanya hivi eh yeye yake ni kubwa sana yeye anajulikana na mimi hapa hapa yangu hata siwezi onekana na bado hata yeye anaenda kanisa anaenda kanisa kama mwili kama pasta alipatikana kwa nyumba ya mtu eh hey. sasa mimi hapa atasipatikani <laughs> that is it so satan anatumia njia nyingi sana za kushika watu ambaye watu hawajijui you see now so eh uh, satan we have seen how he does things and how he tempt people not to understand or to understand themselves to make them asleep that many things that they do or think about them they do it in a sleep not knowing that truly they are under the power of the devil the devil tell them it is but an infirmity because it is not open gross disgraceful sin wengine wanasema it is not kwa sababu wengine hawaoni it is hard to believe that they are in danger of hell for sin which are accounted small zingine wengine satan anasema ni dhambi kidogo sana hii now hata ukiwa umeitenda wewe you are still going to heaven na hapa hakuna shida so here we have seen that satan will always tell people to do things that truly uh, they are evil but in the eyes of this darkness 
they look small and they are good. So, after seeing that, I think we have seen, have tried to open up some of these temptations. There are many that we cannot finish them, but at least they are, uh, the one I've given you, at least they'll help in one way or another for people to know how Satan tempts the people and how they'll never know themselves. I think by that, let us go to the other topic.